Hello, this is Mocha Product Manager Martin Brennan, and today I'm going to quickly show you how to move a Mocha plugin project from one host application to another. Today's footage is provided by Pond5, so go check out their lovely array of footage at pond5.com. I'll be using the example of porting Mocha project files from Adobe After Effects to Avid Media Composer today, but this method can be applied in any scenario, be it from Nuke to Premiere or even Vegas to HitFilm. The key items are exporting the project file and prepping any additional content. So here we are in After Effects, and I have a simple sky replacement job completed. Mocha is handling the masking of the mountains and the tracking of the new sky as an insert render. The replacement sky is a color corrected layer below our effect layer, which is fed into the Mocha plugin. Now, if we go inside the Mocha GUI, you can see the setup. The mask is covering the majority of the scene and is tracked through the shot. My insert clip is being pulled from the host via insert layer and being scaled and masked correctly via the insert module. To get all this content out, all we need to do now is go to the Mocha Pro file menu and choose export project. We can then save it out to a standard Mocha project file ready for importing into another host. Back in the After Effects timeline, we also need to prepare the insert layer if we're going to use one, because in many cases we can't bring any of the effects applied to an insert with us, we either need to render them out to file, or reconstruct those changes in the destination host with similar effects. Here I've done a simple colour correction on my sky insert layer, so I've rendered it down to a TIFF file ready for import into Media Composer. Over in Avid Media Composer, we now need to set up the shot as it was in After Effects. The very basics of this, of course, is to make sure your clip size and frame range are the same as they were in the source host. Unlike After Effects, for Avid specifically, we also need to place our insert below the effect layer, because AVX plugins can't reference the specific tracks, they only reference relative to the effect layer you're on. If we now apply the Mocha Pro plugin to the source layer, you can see that in the insert dropdown we're referencing first layer below, not a specific V1 or V2 track. Now we can launch the Mocha Pro plugin and bring in our project file. Here we have two options. You can merge the project file, but we recommend you only do this when you want to add to an existing project. This is mainly useful for bringing in additional masking or tracking data, and it's quite handy when you have multiple people working on a large scale roto project. In our case, we want to use open because it will replace the existing project and will contain any of the necessary module changes that are not layer specific. So, opening that file, we can now see our layer insert has been brought in from the host and everything is masking as expected. We can then close and save, and render back to the Avid timeline. So it's those four easy steps. Save out your Mocha project file in the source host, prepare any additional materials such as rendering inserts, set up the destination host project in the same format as the source host, and then open the Mocha project file in the destination host Mocha plugin. There is one caveat that I wanted to discuss, and that is to do with frame offsets. When you trim a footage layer in some programs, like After Effects, the effect will read the whole layer range and set the project to the trimmed area. For example here, if we open the Mocha GUI, you can see that the in point is set to 293, not 0. This is because Mocha is reading the full layer in After Effects and trimming it in the same way. When we export this project, it's going to retain this information, but that can be a problem in programs like Media Composer. Here in Avid, a trimmed footage track starts at zero, not the frame number you trimmed it to. So when we open the Mocha GUI, you can see zero, not 293 like we just did in After Effects. This means when we open the exported Mocha project, the keys are now offset. To fix this, we just need to go to the dope sheet on the bottom left, zoom out by holding the control or command key and scrolling with the mouse wheel, and then selecting all the keys over on the far right. We can then drag all those keys back to the beginning of the timeline, and you're ready to go as before. So that's how you move Mocha projects between different hosts. If you have any questions, as always, please go ahead and ask on the Boris FX forums, or check out all our tutorial videos and documentation over at borisfx.com. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.